Microsoft Excel has a function that allows you to apply a single formula to an entire list all at once. No copying, no fill down. It's called the map function. And here's why it's a game changer. Now open in front of you, I've got an example file that I'm gonna make available for you to download so you can open it up and follow along with me as we take a look at three examples of working with Excel's map function. This file is called Excel map function hyphen zero one, and you'll find a link to it directly below this video, just down in the video description. Look for the office new blog link and you'll find a link to download this file so you can open it up and practice this function along with me. Now, I said three examples. The first one we're gonna look at is a really simple one here, just gonna get an idea of what the map function is all about. Well, here I'm looking at the worksheet called numeric, and I've just got a single column here of values, numeric and text values. Now, what I'd like to do here inside of column B, starting inside of cell A2, is I wanna know if the value in the A column is a numeric value. Now in the past, you may have just used the isNumber function. Well, if I say equals, I'm inside of cell B2, I'll say isNumber, there it is. The isNumber function takes one argument. It just wants a value. That could be a straight up value or it could be a reference to a cell. Here, I'll grab cell A2, I'm gonna close the parentheses, and all the isNumber function is gonna do is look at that value and give me a true or false. Is it a number? I'll hit my enter key. And in this case, 245, yep, that's a number, true. All right, but I need that for the entire column. So now in steps the copy command. So I grab the little autofill and I drag that down. 14 rows, not too big of a deal, but now we've got 14 instances of that isNumber calculation. Right, if I go to my formula tab here, then I go over into the formula oddity and I'll do show formulas, then I can see that it's copied that formula utilizing a relative reference and it's now using is number multiple times, which means if I need to change something here, I need to do it for all of these formulas. Well, let's get rid of that. I'll hit the show formula button to get my results back. Well, now in steps the map function. I'm gonna jump into cell C2. I'll keep the other one around just as an example. And I'm gonna say equals map, and I'll open a parentheses. Now, the map function allows us to pass an array or multiple arrays, and then apply a calculation to every value within that array. So now we're creating one formula that does all the logic or arithmetic or function uh, functionality and it applies it to the entire array. I don't have to create a, each individual calculation or copy it. It's an, an array function, so it's gonna spill for all the values inside the list. So here I'll say equals map, open parentheses. First thing is I pass it the array or range of cells that I want to validate or I want to run some type of function or calculation on. So I'll grab A2 down to A15. I'm gonna to go to comma, because I've now given it the array. The next thing it wants to know is the calculation or the function. In this case, I bring in a lambda function, again, built into Excel. And within the lambda function, I'm gonna give it really two things here. I need to tell it a calculation, eventually, what type of calculation do you wanna run? But I also need to give it the value, the current value that it's gonna run that calculation on. Now the lambda function takes at least two arguments, a parameter and a calculation. Now the map function has the array and each of these values in the array, A2 to A15, so A2, A3, A4, all the way down to A15, are considered individual values within that array. The lambda then receives the current value. So I'm just gonna say V for value, I'm just making that up. That's the parameter. That's the current value in the array. And I'm gonna go comma, and the next thing it wants to know is, well, what's the calculation? So here I'll use the is number again, is number. Got my open parentheses. 
I'm now going to pass it V for the current value in that array. I'll close the is number. I'll close the lambda. And I'm going to close the map function. And this is it. I'll hit my enter key. And it spills out all the results. One calculation all managed through that first cell C2. But it did the same thing. But did it the rest of them for me. Now, if anything changes, if I want to build some additional logic in there or change the calculation, I change the one. I don't have to worry about the rest. It'll spill out the rest for me. So make sure you try this one out. This is a simple example, but let's take it even a step further. Now, the next worksheet we have here is called employees. I've got a simple list. It's got an ID, a full name, but you'll note that it says messy, and I've got a department. Now, looking through that messy full name column, you can see that we've got uppercase and lowercase. We've got some extra spaces in there. We've They're kind of all over the place. So what I'd like to do is create a new column here inside of D that cleans that up all for me. And I'm going to use the map function. So here, D2, I'm going to say equals map, open parentheses. Now, remember the first thing the map function needs Where's the data? Where's the array? So I'm going to grab from B2, so B2 to B101. Then I'm going to do a comma. And the next thing I'm going to do is give it the calculation to apply to all of the data, all of the references within that array. So in steps the lambda. The first thing the lambda needs is the parameter. So I'm just going to bring in, I'll call this a CUR name current name. Then I'm going to do a comma. The next thing it wants to know is the calculation you're going to apply to that array. Now, in my case, I'm actually going to bring a couple of different functions in here. The first one that I'm going to bring in is the uh, trim function. So I'll say trim. I want to get rid of those extra spaces, whether they're leading or they're prefixed or wherever those spaces happen to be at. Get rid of the extra ones. So the trim function will do that for me. Then I'm going to nest in a proper function to get proper case on these names. I'm going to open up a parentheses for proper, and I'm going to give it the reference of CUR name. CUR name. I'll close the proper, close the trim, close the lambda, and close the map. And here it comes. I'll hit my enter key, and it spilled them all out for me. We got Mia Thompson, Thomas, Ethan Garcia, Emma Jackson, Olivia Rodriguez, Sophia Martin, and so on. All nice and clean, proper case, and trimmed out those extra spaces. One calculation fills in the rest for me. And if something changes, I need to change, add in maybe another function in there, help clean it up. I modify the one, and the rest of them update for me. Now, one more example. I'm going to hop over to sales. This one's going to be a little bit more involved. But here, this is on the sales worksheet. I've got employee names. I've got sales amounts. And whether or not each employee is eligible for a commission. So now I want to create a formula here that determines, first, are they eligible for a commission? And if they are, then I want to give them 10% of their sales. So I'll jump into com. And once again, here comes map. I'll open up a parentheses. It's going to be a little bit different. This time, I'm going to pass it two arrays. So the first one, first array, I'll grab the eligible column, C2 to C11, comma. The next one, I'm going to grab sales. Now, the reason why I'm passing both of the arrays in here is I want to use both values inside the calculation. So now I'm going to do a comma again. And my next one is going to be the calculation. I'm going to bring in lambda once again, lambda. But I'm going to pass in both parameters, both arrays. So first, we'll call it E for eligible, comma. And the next one, I'll call it S for sales, comma. And now I've got my calculation. And this one, again, is going to be a little more involved. I'm going to use an if. I'm going to say if E equals yes, then I'm going to tell it to do something. I'm going to say S times 0.1 or 10%. Comma. If it's not, if, L, if E is not equal to yes, so they're not eligible, then I'm just going to return a zero. 
I'll close the if, close the lambda, and close the map. And I'm going to hit my enter key, and it spills out all the results. Got my 1850. Emma was eligible. 18,500, 10%, 1,850, and so on. All done. And if something changes, if I decide that, oh, you know what? They're actually going to get a 15% commission. Then I go back to the first one. I change that from 0.1 to 0.15. I'll hit my enter key, and everybody's updated. I got my 15% for each employee that is eligible. This is the map function. One calculation does it for all your values in your list. Try it out. How cool is the map function? Just one little calculation. You could have tens or hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of rows. You create the one calculation with all of your logic and your math or your functions, all within the one and it spills throughout the entire array. Any updates that need to be made, you go back to the first cell, you update the calculation, and it updates every record inside of your list. Excel's map function. Make sure you try it out. If you enjoyed the video, you learned something new, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate that. That helps me understand if you enjoy the videos and you want more content like this, and it helps YouTube serve you up more content that you enjoy. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get updates about new videos that we add to this channel on Microsoft Excel and other Office applications. I'll see you in the next video.